There's a lot of talk about making your first hundred thousand dollars or your first million on lots. I think for someone who's starting a brand new business, that's rather intimidating. You've only made 30, 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars a year. That is a huge mental leap for you to go from what you're currently making to six figures or even in some cases seven figures. I think your first thing, your first responsibility in business is getting your first customer and your first dollar. There's a great deal of information that is out there that is way ahead of the beginner or the starting person. Once you become seasoned, then this makes a little more sense. But when you're first starting out and the most you've ever made in a whole year is 38K and here's someone saying you can make 100K, it sounds good. It sounds enticing, but mentally you're not ready. You're just like, mm -hmm. I've worked, you know, 160 hours, 1700 hours a year to make 38K and you're telling me Mr. Man on the internet that I'm going to create this product or service and start making six figures just like that. That's incongruent. That doesn't mesh well with many people. And part of the reason is many people have to make this transition from an employee mindset to a business owner mindset. And until that transformation takes place, scaling up to these higher income levels is somewhat daunting. Earlier today, I did a live stream and I was asking people who had started their business because when, when you start your business, the first thing you gotta do is get your first dollars and your first customers. That has to happen before you get your first thousand or first 10,000 or your first 100,000, you gotta get these first customers which are super important because they are the people that begin the process of you making more money. So that's your job, number one. And you know, stop listening to these people where you're going to make 100K, 200K, 300K, a million bucks more than likely because you're mentally not ready and this is why you should go ahead and get my course the links below the current uh becoming the boss that man that mental transformation because when you're an employee regardless of how hard you work or how hard you don't work you're still getting paid on friday if you're that hustle minded, hard charging employee that goes for all the hard balls and is working crazy. If you were to cut back your production in half, you would still get the same check. That is part of the deal that you've got to work with in yourself because you know in your mind that whether you work as hard as you can or you just do enough to keep your job, you're still getting the same check. Becoming a business owner is a totally different proposition. You get to keep what you kill. You get to continue to enjoy what you actually knock down. Put it this way, when I was a commissioned outside salesperson, if I didn't sell anything, I didn't get any money. That's the same position that you are in as a business owner. That's why I say 100% commission sales job preps you for business ownership. Because as a business owner, until you fulfill a contract, until you get a customer, until you get someone to pay you, you don't get any money. Your, your income is based upon production, not about showing up on time, not about getting along well with other employees. Your income is a, re is a result of activity, is a result of being productive and achieving goals and serving people. 
Because as a business owner, your number one job is to serve as many people in whatever sector that you're in as you can. The more people that you serve, the more people that you make happy, the more people that you make um, satisfied, you solve their problems, whatever. That's where most of your money comes from. That is where you become the man or you become the woman. Because one of the things that you have to understand as your transformation of going from an employee person to a business owner is the mental shift. For folks who are more interested in the mental aspects, go to the front of my YouTube channel and subscribe to the Mental Gym. Once again, the Mental Gym. I will have all kinds of stuff over there talking about mindset and the mental environment that you need to have to become successful. Once you get that together, all things are really possible. Now, as a business owner, I want you to keep this in your, right in front of your face at all times. How can I serve a bunch of people? And until you start serving those people, because you, you know, before you make your first million, you gotta make your first dollar. So you should concentrate on how to make as much money as you can by serving people as well as you can. And once again, those first customers are super important because they're filling your business with life. They are filling your business with the cash that it needs to grow and to become alive. So they're super important. All right. And in building your businesses, I want you to sit down each day and write about how you want to be successful in your business. The more that you do this exercise, because you know, once again, go to the front of the channel, subscribe to the mental gym. We'll get into all of these hacks of things that you can do to be successful. Start working on your business. Uh, during the live stream today, we had some people who have intentions of working on their online business in 2020. I would say start today. If you want to start an online business, because there's so much to learn, such as email marketing, SEO, putting together websites, you want to start now because you're looking at a two to three year journey of just learning. And you can also make money while you learn, but that's what you're looking at. All right. So that's all I have for you guys. I will talk to you in the next video.